Hey everybody, in celebration of the release of my arcade space shooter template this morning, I wanted to share uh, with the community my radar system code. This is similar to the one I shared uh, about a month ago using the HUD class, but this time I actually took the time and converted it to a full-blown um, widget, uh, which you can see here. So you can download this project in 4.17.2, and as soon as you hit play, you'll see that uh, on the right hand corner there, you have the radar, which looks very much similar to the hot class. But uh, why, why is this much better? Well, if I exit out here and I resize my window, you'll see that the radar automatically resizes, right? Uh, that's one of the key benefits of having um, <clears throat> the radar being part of the, of the widget, because now you can actually change it and you can put it as part of your, um, your HUD class, for example. You'll see that I also have uh, included a way of, of shooting um, several elements here, and this is just an implementation of how you can um, remove things from the radar, right? So these are supposed to be like ground enemies. As soon as they get hit, um, they remove themselves from the radar. So obviously that isn't the best implementation. You'll have to put that in. Um, but as you can see here, um, it's, it's very easy, right? So the, the B, uh, is for a boss. <clears throat> the green and the and the blue uh, icons are for flying enemies. The yellow is for pickups, and the orange is for ground enemies. Uh, and how would you use this? Well, obviously it is part of the of the flying template here, but you can use it for any type of enemy. It really doesn't matter. Um, so let's just quickly create a new a new item here. So let's just say I'm going to drag off this speed fear here. Let's scale it to 10, 10, 10. And all you need to do is add the BP comp track in radar component. You drag it in there. And then when you select it, you'll see that there's only one thing that you can uh, select here. There's a drop down based on a radar category. Uh, so you have four types of categories right now. And if I leave it as flying enemy, as soon as I hit play, you'll see that now the element is in my radar. As soon as I hit it, it gets removed. If I want to change that to, let's say, a boss character, just come down here and pick up boss, click play, and now you see that there's another uh, B, another uh, boss character there. So yeah, uh, this is again not adding any new functionality uh, to the previous one I shared, but this is now using UMG. So you can now go ahead and include this as part of you know your regular UI as opposed to having a custom HUD class. So, Hope you like it. Thank you guys so much. I'm so happy that I'm able to share this. Uh, and if you're interested in how I'm using this in more detail, check out my Space Shooter template. Uh, I have some videos on my channel. You can see how it actually works uh, when you're putting it in an actual game. So thank you guys so much and let me know if you have any questions.